So now let's actually write is anagram. Is anagram is a function that takes in two strings and determines whether or not those strings are permutations of one another. So if you had a string s1 that was pal and s2 was lap, those are anagrams because L occurs once and even both A occurs once and so does P. So let's pretend we have this helper function that counts the number of letters in each of the strings and returns whether or not those are going to be equal or not. So for true, it'll say that they're the same, for false or not. And uh, we're going to say that S1 has to be the number of letter counts for S2 as well. How are we going to write letter count? Letter count, we're going to use actually a dictionary because we're going to loop through all the uh, characters in S and see what, how many times the characters occur. So let's initialize that to be an empty dictionary and map the counts to the actual letter. So we're going to loop through S for character in S, we'll make it uppercase for simplicity, uppercase of an and sign, uppercase of anything that's not a letter is just going to give you the same thing, so we're okay for that. If this letter occurs, if this letter is going to be past the capital A and the character is also going to be less than um, capital Z, we know that we found an uppercase letter between A and Z inclusive, so now we can actually count the number of times a letter occurs inside S. So to initialize that, we're going to add that to a key inside our dictionary. So if we'll assume it's already actually already written, and the good thing about dictionaries is that you can actually get the value inside the dictionary in constant time. So we're gonna say that counts.get. This actually this method gets the value that's mapped to character. Ch, if it's not there, it defaults to zero, but we're actually gonna default to zero because or defaults to none. We're going to default it to zero because we want to count sign from zero. And we're going to add one each time if we do find it. So note that when you first count it, when you first find that you have no value assigned to the key of character, we're going to start at zero, but we're going to promptly add one to it. So that's really nice. And if we do find it, we're going to have, we found, one, we found it one time already, we're going to add one more time to it, so then we're going to keep adding to it. And all we have to do actually is just return our dictionary of counts. So you don't always have to have things from letters from A to Z. You can have A, B, C, or in this case, P, A, L, and those only occur once. So you're just going to compare the dictionaries to each other. Let's actually see if it passes the test. And if I can just grab the test statement, test call. It passes. And the nifty thing about this is that, again, we're comparing dictionaries of counts to each other, so it's really fast, as we'll learn later on. And it's pretty clear because you're counting it and you're just adding each time that you find it again.